In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to retouch eyes and take it from this to this in a matter of moments. Hey guys, Danny Diamond here. You can follow me on my Instagram page at dannydiamondphotography.com or any other social media platform. Okay, so before we go ahead and I show you the steps on what I do to make the eyes really stand out, we first need to understand um, how light works with the eyes. And by understanding this, it'll help us get a very natural result. And this is also the reason why I made this video. There's tons of other videos on YouTube, but I feel that none of them explain how light works with the eyes. And this is crucial to understanding how to edit. So the way it works is the light enters through the iris from one side and it comes out the opposite side. So as you can see over here, the catch light is the direction of light showing is showing you the direction of light coming into the iris. And then as you could see, um, this area right here in the iris is the second to brightest point. And that's because the light is coming in through this side and it's exiting through that side. So when we're retouching, you don't want to brighten up the entire iris and make it look like this. This is completely alien style. If you do this, we're going to confiscate your computer in Photoshop. This looks completely unnatural and um, it's, it's just not the way the iris would, um, would ever look or react to light. Um, you want things to look a little bit more natural like this, where you have the light coming in from here, which is the catch light, and again exiting through that side. So that's how it would look before and after we do our edit. So I have three different examples here. Um, I'll go ahead and demonstrate on the first shot and then uh, I'll, I'll just go ahead and just do two quick edits on the other images so you see other examples. Um, so this is after I did the eyes and I already did the retouch on this image. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how I did the eyes. And it's very subtle but it does make a difference. If you want to see more in-depth tutorials on how I get my skin uh, color toning and retain the skin texture and just other retouching and portrait photography videos in general. I have a tutorial with RGGEDU with over 75 video segments on my entire process. Definitely check that out. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, start working on the eyes. So the first thing we want to do is duplicate the layer and we're going to do this by hitting Control J and we're going to be sharpening the eyes first. So come over here to Filter, Other, High Pass. And I put in somewhere around 20 over here. Hit OK. Now what we're going to have to do is create a mask. I hold my Alt button, hit the Mask button. Now we have a black mask right over here. So we're not able to see uh, this layer. Next we're going to switch the Blend Mode here to Overlay. And now we're going to take a brush, B for brush, and I'm going to change my opacity to about 70% and leave my flow at 100%. Make your brush larger and smaller with the bracket buttons and go ahead and just paint over the entire eye. And you can see how we just made the eyes a drop sharper. Let's zoom out and take a look at that before and after. <clears throat> you could always dial down uh, the opacity of the entire layer in case you feel you went a little too far by simply coming here to your opacity and bringing that down. I'm going to leave it uh, up and then later we're going to make a group for all the uh, layers for our eye and I'm going to bring down the opacity on the entire group. So I go a little bit overboard and then I dial it back. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to sit there and um, just brighten up specific areas of the eye and also the general um, location of the eye. And we do this by coming here to our adjustment panel, hitting the curves, and we're going to raise a little bit in the midtones and a little bit also towards the highlight. And then we can bring the shadows down a tiny drop. Let's bring the midtones up a little bit higher. I'm just looking at the eyes right now. There we go, right about there. And Again, we're going to invert that mask, 
by hitting Control I. Now we're going to take our brush, B is for brush, and bring your flow to 10%. You could do that by holding the Shift and hitting 1 for 10%, and we're going to have to change our opacity back to 100, so we hit 0. Come in right here, make your brush larger with the bracket buttons, and we're going to tap down a couple times over each eye. We're making it nice and large so that the entire area gets a little brighter. You can't just work on the iris itself and not the skin around the eye, otherwise it's not going to look natural. Now we're going to go ahead and paint in slowly right over here. And we're going to spend more time painting in the opposite location as the catch light. So since the catch light is up here, the, the light is going to be exiting down here. So you want this area to be the brightest spot other than the catch light. Again over here, brush over the catch light to make that a little brighter. Go on the entire iris, then spend more time opposite that catch light. Let's zoom back out a drop, turn that layer on and off, and you can see how it made the general area brighter. And then the next step we're going to do is make another layer right over here and switch this blend mode to overlay. Bring the opacity down to about 50%. And with the same brush settings we're able to switch between black and white right here with this arrow. We want white to brighten and we could sit here painting in a little bit more. I like making zigzag motions with the brush just to kind of give the iris uh, like a look like a marble. Like there's both shadows and highlights in there. You don't want it to just be bright. You want there to be shadows as well. So first I work on brightening it and now I'm going to hit this arrow button for the dark and I'm going to go ahead and just pull in a little bit of shadows there. Let's do the same thing right here. Pull in a little bit of shadows, just a drop. Let's show you how this looks before and after. <coughs> before and after. And what we could do now as well is go ahead and with the same black brush, just go ahead and paint in the eyeliner to make that stand out. And you can go over each eyelash. There we go, we're going to go over each eyelash. It takes time, but uh, your results are very rewarding the eye really stands out. Let's zoom out. Now you could see that we went totally overboard on this, but that's why we have this opacity over here. We can dial it down altogether. So now I'm going to hit shift and select all the layers. Hit control G to group it. And now let's turn this on and off. That's before. After before and after. Now what we have to do is dial this down since it's a drop too much. Bring that down to about there. Before, after. And now I feel like um, the iris is a little bit too colorful. Sometimes when you uh, brighten it, it makes it more saturated. So to desaturate it, what we could do is uh, just we could come over here and make a hue and saturation layer. Just bring down the saturation. Now invert, control I, invert that mask. Take a brush. Bring the flow up a little bit right here on your brush. Make your brush larger and we could paint right over that. And take away a little bit of color from the eye. Yeah, that looks much better. Take a look at this. You see how saturated that is? And that's after, before and after. That's looking much better. Let's take a look at this portrait as a whole. Before and after. Zoom in, before and after. All right, let's jump over to 
uh, another example. So this is after I did all the retouching. This is the original file. So that's before and after I did all my retouching. Let's go ahead and just work on this unedited file. And for the rest of this, I'm just going to go ahead and crank up some music. So you guys sit back and just watch. I'm going to do the same process as I did before. Right here I see this red vein. To take that away I went back onto the original file. I hit my J button which brings me to my patch tool right here. I select that. Move over. There we go. We can do the same thing on this side. Select, click and drag. So here is our image after and before. Obviously this looks funny right now because the eyes are really standing out um, because we did not retouch the, retouch the rest of the image but if we go ahead and show you how the images look completed with the full retouch the eyes really stand out. Now one thing to remember is Definitely be careful not to overdo the edits um, because no one will forgive you if you uh, overdo the eyes. So always it's better safer to um, just play it safe and dial down that opacity so it doesn't really stand out uh, as much. Alright guys, there you have it. This is how I do the editing on my eyes. I'm glad I finally got around to making this video. See you guys around.